Alright, hello, welcome. First, let me apologize for the wait. It's been, oh man, I don't know how long since my last vid. Um, I have been busy, very busy. Um, up until, up until two weeks ago, I've been working a lot of overtime at work, at the day job. And I, my side thing, um, I've got in uh, five commissions. So I've been working on those as well. As a matter of fact, this year, board is a piece of uh, rescued walnut that I'm going to be making a hanging cabinet out of that I was just working on, on flattening by hand. You see, I've already started. There was a hump here that I'm picking out before I start the actual flattening process. There's a hump in a hollow. The hump, if you just try to go across the grain like you normally do for flattening the board, the plane can run up on it and actually exaggerate it. So I'm just taking care of that right now. Here on the other side, this has been flattened. It hasn't been smooth plane yet, so still have a few plane marks from the triplane. But you can see the just the rich color and shine that it is really old walnut and the uh, hand plane leaves behind. Um, so I've been, as I said, I've been really busy. Um, and today is the 7th, uh, Sunday, August 7th. On Tuesday, August 9th, my daughter's being born. So I've been preparing for that as well. But once again, not here to talk about any of that. I'm here to talk about hammers and mallets. Yes, that's right. Hammers and mallets. What I've been promising for a while. Okay, hammers and mallets are really the easiest tools to describe. And they're also quite possibly the oldest tools. A hammer, mallet, and even an axe and an adze and a hatchet to some extent can all be described the exact same way. A weighted end affixed to a stick. That's it. And what separates one from the other is the material that is used to make the weighted end and the shape of it. For instance, a hatchet is a weighted end that is shaped to have a blade that runs parallel to the handle, the stick, and it and it's used for chopping. A mallet is the way to end. It's made uh, out of either rubber, polyurethane, um, rawhide. Um, for big mallets, like a commander, is actually made out of wood. Um, also, smaller ones that can be made out of beech. Um, and they're used for things where you need to have a little force, but you don't want to destroy the work in process. Like you're fitting a joint together, you just need to tap it. Uh, and you don't want to bash up the wood or for doing chills of work, which is what I use this here for mostly. Hammer is the way to end is made out of some type of metal, usually cast iron, cast steel, uh, an alloy of um, steel and magnesium for more modern hammers. Uh, I've seen there's ones made out of brass, um, so. And they are usually used for either demolition work or for driving nails. This is a 16 ounce claw peen. Now whereas a mallet, basically both ends are exactly the same. There's a rubber mallet. And here's one. There's another type of mallet with the estimated out of polyurethane. Um, 
the hammer, the size of the hammer are not always, usually never the same. On there you have, this is the bell with the face, and most hammers have that. Um, on sledgehammers it's just one big whopping head, there's no sort of smooth down. Then on this side you have the peen. And this is what usually varies. A claw peen, which actually isn't used much nowadays, but used to be used a lot more in the old days, is used for prying up nails. Um, basically fixing boo-boos. Um, that's been replaced by the uh, rip peen hammer, which I don't have. I have one, but not here. Um, which is basically used as a demolition, just to rip stuff up with. This is a cross peen hammer, also known as a Warrington hammer, um, sometimes called a cabinet maker's hammer. Cabinet maker's hammer. Here, the peen is just almost a blade, but it has it's been flattened, and it's used to start. In theory, it's used to start small nails. You hold it and you just. You know, tap it, then you can just hammer it down in. It sounds good in theory, and maybe some guys can do it. I hit my my fingers here regardless, so either way, I'm usually yelling and cursing. And that's really about it. Like I said, they're they are very simple, very simple tools, and the oldest tools. Um, arguably, um, you know, our earliest ancestors, when they were moving out across the, you know, the African savanna, um, they had stone knives and stone hammers. Um, before it did, you know, and this has been a constant campaign of humanity all throughout our, you know, 200,000 year evolution. Um, and that's why even even today it's one of the hardest tools to get rid of. I mean, every tool here from that I've gone over, the handsaw, the hand plane, have pretty much been replaced. Um, if somebody has them, they're usually just hanging up collecting dust. Uh, you don't really see them on the job that much. The hammer is still with us, and I think it's because of that ancient connection that this is where all our technology started. That this is the beginning of the modern human, modern human society, civilization, of taking two natural things, combining them, to increase our own force and thus change our environment. Um, so yeah, a little philosophical there, but and I could go on, but um, I guess my wife told me I had to save her batteries for Tuesday for the birth. So to save batteries, I am going to call it now. I hope to see you soon i.e. within less time than a month, but if I don't, I'll see you when I see you. Later.